Hi everyone, I'm Anand from AWS. Welcome to the third video in the Run Command Learning Path video series. In this video, I'll be walking through a demo of how you can easily run a command at scale across your fleet, while at the same time maintaining control using the rate control feature of Run Command. With this, you can therefore perform configuration changes for a large fleet of instances, but perform it in a staggered manner to, to avoid any unforeseen changes or any application downtime. Let's say that you have a fleet of servers in your auto-scaling group and you want to install Apache on them. However, installing Apache takes a little time and therefore you don't want to install it all at once on all your instances because you do not want to affect your application performance. Therefore, you can ensure that you easily install Apache only on a subset of instances at a time. You can do this using the max concurrency and max errors feature of run command. With that, I'll jump straight into the demo. Okay, so now as I mentioned, I want to install Apache on all the instances in my auto scaling group. So in this case, you'll notice that I have an auto scaling group here with five instances in it. So let's say that I wanted to install Apache. So now I'll go in, copy my command, clear my screen, And now if you'll notice that what I've done is I've used the targets feature of run command to directly target the auto scaling group using the AWS colon auto scaling group name tag and the name as, a, as the auto scaling group name. You'll also notice that I've used the max concurrency and the max errors feature. In this case, what now happens is that this command is now executed on two instances at a time and if either of them fail, the command execution is stopped. So which means rather than running a command remotely on all the instances in my auto scaling group, I've ensured that I run them only on a subset of instances. And even then, if any of them fail, I know that there is a problem with my command or my configuration and I can stop it without the change propagating to my entire fleet. I've also set up notifications uh, as well so that I receive an email when the whole process is uh, completed. So in this video, in addition, I can also specify percentage values for max concurrency and max errors as well. So for example, I can instead of saying two instances, I can even say 10% of my instances so that in case I have a larger fleet of say 100 instances, I can run them only in batches of 10% or 10 at a time and I can also specify max errors of say 20% so that if 20% of them fail, the command execution is stopped and it does not affect the rest of my fleet. In this demo, we learned how you can easily use run command to perform configuration changes on your entire fleet while at the same time maintaining control. Additionally, with, it, it, with run commands integration with CloudTrail, as I, as I mentioned in the previous video, you now have an audit log as well of what actions were performed. I hope this series of videos on run command provided you a great introduction to run command, some use cases, and also how you can get started easily. To reiterate the benefits of run command, you now have the ability to remotely perform actions on your instances at scale while maintaining visibility, granularity of control, and an audit log as well. This really improves your security posture because you no longer have to SSH or RDP into your instances anymore, while at the same time giving you the ability to control what actions are performed by which user and when. Thank you.